How's it going, boys? Welcome back to Mogul Mail. Okay, I've been gone for a couple weeks. I can admit that, but goddamn, this Jason R thing's crazy. So let's talk about it. If you don't know, Jason R is a pretty big Twitch streamer. He has almost a million followers, uh, and he is most importantly known because he does not play with women ever. If he queues up with a woman in a game, he would mute them or dodge the game and, and basically leave and start up a new one, uh, and 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 even banned women from his chat for being women um this is the some logs and and then they got banned and okay you know that's 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 just one example here's another one this is um a viewer chatting with a mod said i don't know why i'm banned from chat long story you're not the only one go back and forth for a while uh yeah basically it's not just you he bans all girls in his chat i think it's something to do with his girlfriend so this has been known. This has been known for a while. It's not a new thing. This was rumored four years ago that Jason R was doing this uh, and resurfaced over the past few months because I think he got bigger in Valorant. Um, and, and it pretty much stayed at, holy shit, Jason R is, first of all, weird, doing weird shit, and two, sexist because uh, he just doesn't play with women because they are women. Um, and, and it kind of all came to a head on stream a couple nights ago with Tarek. Tarek, one of my favorite Valorant streamers. Um, he hopped in. He's friends with Jason R, right? Because they've known each other. They've played games for a long, long time. Uh, and, and this conversation happened. You didn't say that fucking... You didn't say that say one what? time. Say what? But guess what? I had people I like fucking train wrecks coming in and saying fucking backing me up. I had people like fucking Mo coming in, backing me up. Sabrosa backing me up. All these people who are saying things that character... So basically, Jason R is lighting up Tarek for not having his back through him uh, being caught being sexist. Witnesses of what, what, what are... not misogynist, but you, you chose to be a fucking, fucking girl about it and just wouldn't <laughs> fucking say shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay come on dude it's a little too perfect if you're gonna use a sexist line like don't be a girl about it in the conversation about not being sexist and how your friend isn't having your back because you're not actually sexist uh, crazy crazy uh, the whole conversation it's like an hour long it's pretty tough to get through was uh jason r calling Tarek an l friend for not having his back no matter what. And Tarek going, I just thought what you were doing is weird and I don't support that because it's weird. And then Jason R would be like, you've met me, you've met my wife. I don't know. You can you know, see that clip, watch the rest for yourself and make your own judgment call. It's uh, but I do think... I do think Nate shot summed it up best. Let's listen to it's him. His own thing. You know, it's right. his own thing, but it doesn't it involve. But the point is that it doesn't involve me. That's the angle. It doesn't involve me, and I got involved, and now I'm benefiting off of his downfall, and that's that's the part of it that makes Eric, me feel Eric, bad if about this it. This motherfucker actually had a problem with you, and you were friends. He would have sent you a message saying, "Hey, I got yeah, something bro. to talk to you about." The guy, well, he said it in a game while you guys were on stream. He knew what he was doing. You shouldn't mm -hmm. feel bad at all. And the internet's going to pick a side no matter mm -hmm. what. There's nothing that you should feel bad about. Fuck it, dude. I, I'd be looking at Rolexes right now online. <laughs> Who cares? If he actually, <laughs> like, truly felt as if you had wronged him in some way, he should have came to you like a man. That's fair. Off the fucking internet and sent you a message. But he didn't. Yeah. So you got no reason if somebody attacked I actually like to say he should have talked about it off the internet like a girl. Like a like a strong woman would. That's what I say. I'm trying to actually heal the world. Anyway, uh, that that's that's this is all that happened. It, it, again, none of this is necessarily new, but it really brought it to like mainstream attention when Tarek and Jason R talked about it on stream in front of like you know twenty plus thousand people. Uh, and and I'm just gonna show you one clip real quick. This is from the Yard podcast. Check it out if you have a few extra hours of your life. And I made this call. <laughs> My QAnon theory is that he cheated on her. Yes. Which has made her wildly mm. insecure. Oh. He was likely with someone yeah. he maybe oh. gamed with. Maybe oh. I thought the same thing. Yeah. It's not an accident that she's like this. And surely if he saw this in the dating phase, he would not have continued to marriage. My, <laughs> and now when I'm saying she's like this, I'm talking about, of course, Jason R's wife, who is also complicit, by the way. This is not like Jason R and he is sexist and his wife is just like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Women are great. Um, she, she, uh, <laughs> this is real logs of hers uh, in, in his chat. And, and it's talking to a Twitch 
staff member who is just watching the stream. I actually know um, this person. Uh, I don't know if they're named in here, so I don't want to name them if they're not in here. But uh, they're like a like a super nice, really pleasant Twitch employee. Uh, and and they just they wrote this, and it, it's hard to read, man. Girl, you're sad. She's a cum dumpster. I can't stand her. She's the only one that's actually insane. She gives me uh, the other chicks a bad name. Okay. Well, the other chicks got banned, so it's kind of hard for them to have a bad name because uh, they're not even in the stream anymore. But yeah, fair enough. Uh, I feel sorry for her boyfriend because she's fucked everyone. She's saying like the like just vile, wrong, unnecessary shit. And then finally does, okay, I'm sorry. Can you leave though? Within a minute, yeah, really, really powerful apology. So, look, it is not, it is not uh, just Jason that is complicit in this, but he did send out an apology after the stream with Tarek because I imagine it all became a bit too much uh, in in fighting against being sexist. While being sexist proves to be more difficult than he thought. So he, he wrote, taking accountability. I was avoiding certain online situations out of respect for my wife, Stephanie. When I was younger, I was not a good person to her. Called that. Called that. Obvious, obvious. And I take accountability for my actions that led us to this place. Now, by the way, I don't know if he actually cheated. I don't know the specifics of it. But this was just my assumption because they were both acting like fucking psychopath high schoolers. And not like, uh, you know, professional working adults in a space with many working adults and different people from different backgrounds. Uh, I was trying to avoid toxic situations, not wanting her to be put through drama. I will no longer be avoiding these online situations. And I'm sorry that my intentions are misconstrued by my actions. Uh, there's many lies about me, lies about Steph, who doesn't deserve this. There are people making false allegations off uh, of out of context information. Uh, I wish nothing but peace and love for people uh, in a, 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 just a touch of understanding. Okay. All right. Just a touch of understanding. Now, this is my favorite part of all of this. Because in this apology, Jason very specifically says that he didn't want to play with other girls to avoid toxic situations, drama, out of respect for his wife. Check this out. Man, I would hate to disrespect my wife by playing games with women and having them in my chat. Jason R's likes. <laughs> Come on. How is she catching you slipping like that, Jason? Bro, come on. Cutie was going in the entire weekend. Because, you know, rightfully so. This guy is pretty openly uh, sexist. And and I feel like there's some weird understanding that to be sexist or, or racist or homophobic, you have to be like cartoonishly sexist. You have to walk around and be like, women. The moment you see a girl walk by and, and that's sexist and anything under that isn't sexist because you have to be that sexist and you can apply that to racism, homophobia, whatever, as opposed to what it really is, which is which is just treating women worse because they are women, you know, using using insults that just reinforce w women, uh, uh, bad stereotypes. I, I am also, by the way, guilty of this, right? I, I call Atrioc a pussy every chance I get. Um, I tell chat to quit acting like some hoes because I really like that one Soldier Boy clip where he, he listens to loud music. If you haven't seen it, you got to watch it. So I'm also complicit. But there are certain lines that I think cross and, and it goes from being, okay, you have built-in sexism that you perpetrate to, okay, your your whole per per fucking personality is, is, is being sexist. Uh, everything you do is weird. Uh, and and I think I think Jason... Kind of crossed that boundary, um, and and it's good that not him taking accountability because, to be honest, it's kind of a shit apology because it didn't it didn't even mention like anything uh, that he's really done, and it felt more like he was just concerned about um, all the Tarek shit, and it blew up too big. But anyway, that's about all. That's about all. It's a whole Jason R thing. I imagine it'll all work out uh, because it seems. It seems like this is one of those great situations where the internet all bands together uh, against one big dumbass. Um, it's kind of the big dumbasses that, that we need to bring us together. So thank you once again um, to the big dumbass Jason R of the week. And I'll see you guys soon. See you later. Goodbye, guys. See you later, guys. Have a good one. See you later now. Goodbye.